Hey guys, it's Sarah and I'm back today to tell you about how I use and you can use Q, Q Global to do evaluations online and you are going to love it so much you're not going to want to go back to lugging around huge test kits. This is a game changer, a, a lifesaver. Let's get going. Here's the Q Global website. Right now, they are offering free access to different tests. Reach out to them. It's fantastic. So I would use the contact form here. So after you click on contact us, scroll to the bottom and go to contact us again. And then you can fill it out. And this is exactly what I did. So it already remembers what I had asked for. It asked, I told them what I was, I told them what I wanted, and I said, said I would like to be set up on Q Global. Okay, so go ahead and sign in once you get your ID. Uh, if I had a student that I would put in here, I would enter their name. I'm going to show you how to administer a test. Go to Resource Library. Just so you know, there are some delays as it's loading, just so you know. This is their complete resource library for every test you can conceivably think of. Um, check out that they have the self preschool, the self four in Spanish, the self five, EVT, the um, Goldman Fristo in English and Spanish, PLS in English and Spanish, PPVT. But you can see that there's a lot of other tests used by psychologists. So feel free to share this information with psychologists. You can give the WISC. So those are great things for psychologists to give while we are remote. So when you click the plus sign, you can see you get some information about the test, but the restricted are the stimulus information. Check out the fact that you get a full manual the whole manual isn't this just a light bulb moment okay so you could scroll to wherever you need to go let's pretend I want to go to some some page of it I can click and it will forward me right to that page so I didn't even have to scroll down so how fantastic is that Let's go to the stimulus book. Here is the entire easel that you would be flipping for students, but it's here on the computer. How incredible is this? And you don't have to uh, carry that big book or flip the easel or have the easel fall. That drives me nuts when the easel falls because it's gotten used so many times that it just like disintegrates. Just show the picture on your computer. I mean, even after we're done in this time period, I think Q Global is a huge resource. You can ask the student to say the prompt and then you would, in theory, hold on, use your protocol. And I have the GF2. You would use your protocol to write everything down that the student is saying. I write it down. I give the prompts. I have access to the manual. It couldn't be easier. You know, you just have everything you need to complete that assessment. Let's say that we completed the Goldman Fristo. I have my scores. I'm going to go back to the home. And I'm going to put in a fake person. John Doe, he's male, and let's say. Calculates for you the chronological age. This is HIPAA compliant, as long as you don't let anybody else like in your account. So I clicked on his name. I'm going to assign him a new assessment. And the one that I just gave. OK, so but when I go under the scores, I can put in his errors. Oh, OK, so. He missed P at the end. And let's say he put in a K for that. Um, for fish, let's say he made an S for that sound. 
for drum, he um, omitted that. And glasses, he omitted that one. And the final Z, um, he vocalized that sound. You know, I'm just riffing on this, but you can see how great it is. Maybe he um, stopped that one. So I don't even have to tabulate the raw score. It will do it for me. So I'm going to sit, hit save, save and close. So I did save and close, and I'm going to ask it to generate a report for me. I didn't administer the Kaufman, so I didn't need a dual report for that. It asks me my confidence level. Let's do 95. <gasps> Okay, that's fine. Okay, it generated a PDF report. I'm gonna double click on it and share it with you. Okay, here's the PDF report. So it came up with a standard score. I didn't, even though I have the protocol, I don't need to do any calculation. It came up with all the information for me and I didn't do the sounds and sentences, but it generated that as if I had and I could write um, in my report that I never did that. It goes through an, an item analysis of where the errors occurred, a phonetic error at analysis. It gives you the, an idea of when those should be coming in, and that's the end of the report. How useful is that for you to print out and attach to the report that you write but I mean, you uh, it's just making your life that much easier. You don't have to lug around uh, something heavy. You don't have to tabulate everything yourself. And then you get a nice little report that you can put with your information. I don't know other pricing outside of these times, but it's the kind of resource that pays for itself. Uh, and I'm a huge advocate of it. And this is absolutely not sponsored. I have no affiliation with Pearson or, or Q Global or any of it. I've just used it and really liked it. All right, guys, be sure to like and subscribe and comment below with any questions that you have too. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much.